What's up, my peeps? Welcome back for more Let's Play Final Fantasy. Urgh! Last time we made it up to the communication tower, and this time we're gonna pursue our captain. But not before showing off that uh, I did make quite a bit of preparation. Of course, I took the liberty of well. <laughs> Let's be honest, I did a ton of cross spamming. Shocker of all shocks. I refined a ton of thunders into thundoras. And of course I gave them to Zell. With 80% thunder damage combined with 48 attack, that is going to be a major force to be reckoned with coming up. Especially against a certain thing that I've been alluding to. On top of that, of course, as you just seen from Thundoras, I've, well, learned mid magic refine, which is how I'm able to get so many Thundoras on uh, Zelda to begin with. Yeah, baby. That and something that I'll be getting just up ahead will help tremendously in our endeavor as well. I do have some Thundoras on Sophie, which is going to be a major help coming up. I don't have that many. Well, that's because I wasn't going to spend more than necessary to um, <coughs> get those Thundoras. But, before I go up to the top of the tower. <laughs> I'm gonna head over here. This is blind. Um, I'll get that a selfie. Eleven, pretty good. And uh! oh boy, level eleven. I can expect a tougher fight going forward. Yeti! Yeah, but, alright. Let's do this. I think we can take this lift up. Let me go up. Let's do it! Wow, this lift is pretty cool. Don't get too excited or you'll fall. Like I'm really going to. Major Biggs. There's been a report of a monster-shaped shadow on top of the tower. Major Biggs! Be quiet! I'm busy! This goes like this, and... Jeez, what's with these crappy old tools? And... And why do I have to make all the repairs? Ah! Sir, I'll check around while the repairs are being done. Let's see here and that goes here and there it's complete What do you think you're doing? 
Huh? Likewise, mister. What do you think you're doing? Hey, hey! I'm just a soldier down below. Wedge, take care of these twerps. What? Wedge? I, uh, well, uh, I seem to be done here, so I'll just be on my... I I'm leaving. Move it. Move, move. Sorry to cross the party. Ah, are you crazy? Just shut up. <clears throat> Our next battle. This is... Prepare for the worst, you brats. Uh-huh. Okay. This guy's got a pretty good spell. Something I highly urge you to draw. Asuna! This is an example of one of the spells that has draw resistance to it. Yeti! Let's go and scan our friend Biggs. There's always a Sid in every Final Fantasy game. I feel like there's always a Biggs and Wedge. Biggs, a Galpidian Major, activated the Dolan Communication Tower. Very short-tempered. Uh, yeah, don't say. <laughs> Not that difficult of a fight. But I do urge you to get as many as soon as here as you possibly can get. So I'm gonna have Squall and Selfie do that. See, I only got three as soon as. I'm just gonna have Zell do the fighting. And this is, yeah, draw fail. I'll start making no notes on what spells have what draw resistance. Or, rather, what I'm gonna do instead is, at the end of this video, have a complete breakdown of how all of the spells that we've encountered up to this point work, and do the same going forward with each new spell. Yeti! Uh, what am I doing? I need to uh, I s Oh, there we go. Make your bigs! I finished the repair, sir. What is the enemy doing here? Wait! Where were you? No pay for this month. Should've stayed at home. And yep, we got the appearance of... Wedge! Wedge! A Galbadian soldier assigned to Dulles Communication Tower. Always picked on by his superior major pigs. Now typically... Human... Humanoid enemies will be weak to, a uh, poison. This guy's immune to it. Now, I wanted to wait until now to mention this. I thought it was, I think it's fairly uh, obvious, but these guys are basically stronger variants of the Galpidian soldier and the Elite soldier. Okay, do you want to get one more draw from this guy? Before I have Zell attack. Doesn't matter which one of these guys you attack because what the ah that happens. I didn't do anything to wedge and they still got blown away. This is that monster that was on top of the Dola Communications Tower. Elvrite, what the hell, what the hell is that? And that's where we're about to find out through scan. You want to draw from this guy because Siren. Elvrite, a monster that lives in the abandoned Dola communication tower. No one knows where it came from. Look at those stats. Yeah, quite a high sphere, I gotta say. But. Siren, a GF held by, well, Elvrin. It's also very vital that you get spells from this guy because double. This will be very, 
very important to what we're gonna be doing here after the fact. So what I'm gonna be doing is failing to draw double because, well, draw, draw resistance and all that. Even though this does have spell resistance, you can still draw a few spells without the adequate magic. You just gotta get lucky on the, um, well, the luck of the draw. Yeti! I didn't mean for that to come out of the pun this time, I just... I just come to the territory. I oh slot. Okay. Her thing is casting spells for free. It'll be random each and every time. There are spells that can only be cast through her limit break. Might as well do this now while I have the opportunity. Full cure is one such spell that is exclusive to her limit break, which is. Well, maximum HP on the entire party. Really, really handy. So, yeah. Selfie is the, um, essentially she's the major the group. Alright, I do want to get a few more thunders. Yeah, baby! Before I go out on the attack. Double is a spell that lets you cast two spells in one turn. This combined with all that thunder is gonna be especially vital, especially cast on selfie. Storm breath. Uh. Actually, I should have Zell do the attacking. Squall do more stalking. Typically, what I did before practicing for this LP is I'd have, during an important boss fight, I'd have one do the uh, stalking and the others do the attacking. Kind of like I'm doing now. I'll get more doubles. I'd better delay for that attack. Maybe just stick to doing storm breath. Alright, what to do here? Um, nah, I should just stick to using my regular attack. If I can actually show Squall's limit break, that'd be great. Storm Breath, I'll have the opportunity. Oprah! I don't know. I don't know why I just randomly blurted that. Benzilkin! Benzilkin! Just like his regular attack, you gotta hit the uh, trigger at just the right time. And you do considerably more damage during that. And this call is down. Luckily, I have those Phoenix sounds. Which was pretty handy for me. <laughs> uh, assuming. Ah. I should have just attacked. I should have just attacked. I'm not taking any chances. I need everyone to be at their full. I cannot take any chances here. <clears throat> this has me worried for that 
thing I mentioned, if I'm having this much trouble against, trouble against Alvaret. All because I'm getting hubristic and using when to use Squall's Limit Break. Oh, okay, thank fuck. And he's done. I'm not gonna lie, my performance against that guy has me worried. Dexter, very nice. And research weapons monthly. Got boost. And got siren. Squad B captain. Excuse me, I have new orders. All seed members and seed candidates are to withdraw in 1900 hours. It's not about the Sure. Withdraw? There are still enemies around. I know, but I'm just a messenger. In order to withdraw takes priority. I don't want to miss the vessel. What time did you say? Like I said, see, all seed members and seed candidates are, th are to withdraw in 1900 hours. It's not about the Sure. 10 hours. We only have 30 minutes. Got 30 minutes to get down to the shore. Better run. Hey, wait for us. Who the hell does he think he is? Why don't you ask him? Let's go. Before that, I want to junction Siren to Selfie. And move water over to magic and blind not gonna give me all that great of a return on that sleep would be better in the long term but fire gives me the more immediate return on strength Alright, now as for Siren, what I wanted her to learn. We got Tool Refine, Status Recovery, Status Recovery Magic Refine, Life Refine, and Move Fine. This is something we're gonna want because it'll reveal hidden draw points as well as hidden save points. Hidden draw points you can use without that, hidden save points you cannot. But, let's assemble at the shore. Let's go down. No, let us stay! Running out the timer here will result in an instant game over, by the way. Well, slow charge other targets. Go now! Go and destroy them! I do want to go ahead and save real quick. Uh, no, not tutorials. I'm gonna make an alternate, alternate save. Well, let's be it on our way. This is what they are sending after us. Attempt to stop us. This thing has a fucking cool design. ATM XL35. Uh, you attack, and you 
again it. Because it's a new enemy and we gotta do that. Okay. Analyze. X ATM 92 I got it wrong. Call Biddy is mobile attack weapon, aka Black Widow. Doesn't stop until it kills all enemies in its path. It's got a ridiculously high HP stat. This is why I urge you to get as much thunder as you possibly can get. It has a pretty big weakness to thunder and a fairly low spirit or fairly low magic defense. All right, so I'm also gonna show here. The reason why I opted to get boost is if you hold down the slug button in the original, the uh, menu, the view button on the Xbox, holding right on the touchpad on the um, PS4 controller, if you hold that and press square. Yeti. You can do a boost on the damage output. This is going to be pretty important when taking this thing out. Let's get the hell out of here! Damn, this game has some bopping music. Alright, holding circle button allows you to walk single file. This is going to be important for something a bit later on, which is kind of odd. <clears throat> already busted the, already busted the thing up. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this thing will be hounding you throughout this area. Now, now it's here. Believe it or not, if you walk single file, you will not aggro this thing at all. Otherwise, you may have a high chance of running into this thing. Why walking single file here doesn't trigger the things? I don't know. But it is what it is. So we're gonna take advantage of it. <clears throat> now this bridge. Now you can choose to run back. There's an invisible wall that spawns there when it jumps. It's a forced encounter. Now I'm not gonna bust the thing up quite yet. Yeti. I um definitely will be doing that and I'll be showing how it's done. Specifically in how to ex execute the strategy. Oh, okay. Well, zappe, zappe, zappe. All right. This thing also has a pretty important spell to this talk. Might as well show it here while I'm making my escape. Protects. Must protect. I'm only doing it here to show it, but you figure it. If you play your sweet pippies, I'm gonna be cross spamming the living daylights out of this before I end up, well, taking this thing down. Yeti! Double, as well as protect. Pretty good spells for our junctioning as well. Be careful, doggo! Don't harm the doggo! Okay, we're, it's good. We're, okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're good. It's all behind us. I feel bad whoever owned that car, man. Holy cow, was that total die. That robot just stomping on it. Guys, you're in there. Where'd it go? Withdraw! Evacuation order! 
You need to know how it is. We're home free.